Hello, I hope you're okay. Um, today I'm going to do a really simple kind of everyday bronze makeup that I've been wearing a lot recently. I'm going to start with my CC Illumination. Um, and this one, to be honest, you know when you just get into a bit of a rut of doing your makeup? I've been in a rut of doing this, but I actually love it. So um, I'm going to walk you through. Now, I haven't got any fake tan on at the moment, which I would always usually have a little lick of it. So I might be thinking a bit wishfully, thinking I'm going to look bronzed, but it is a nice warm look. Um, one of the things that I really do in this is tie in the bronzing powder to everything like your eye makeup, um, absolutely smothered myself in CC cream there, eye makeup, complexion, everything. So it all just ties in really well. Obviously, as you can see here, I'm going in with a medium CC cream which I'm not a medium, especially without any tan on, but just like to go a bit aspirational with the old base there. Um, I don't know if you can see in the background, but it's the 1st of December, so I'm so excited to have my advent calendar on the go. Dairy milk, seeing as you asked. Now, what I'm doing here is just I've gone in in circular motions all over the complexion and then I'm just going to pat in any extra coverage where I know I'm likely to get a bit more red. So for me that is cheeks, chin, they're the places and I'm just going to take that a little bit down my neck. To be honest I probably will put a little bit of tan on before I go out. I'm only going to my friends for a roast but it'll just tie everything in and then I'll have it on for the week. Okay so CC is on. Now what I'm going to go in with, I've showed you this before, the It Girl beauty book. It's a Christmas book from It Cosmetics and it's basically got everything in it. Now, because we've been doing this on QVC loads, I've always got it on me and I just, I've been using it all the time. So I'm taking the powder. I'm going to actually take it quite heartily today just because I know that I've got a bit of a journey to get to Esme's. We'll end up having a few glasses of wine. I don't want anything to move. And then... I'm going to go in with the bronzer and this is where I'm going to warm everything up. So I'm going to take this along the hairline. I actually keep my hand there as well because I'm so blonde at the moment. It will pick up um, any bronzer. If you've got blonde hair, do you find that? Like you actually have to make sure that you haven't... Um, Got it in your hair. So along the hairline, down the nose. Just warm everything up. I am going to take a bit of that on my neck because let's be honest, that does not match at all, does it? Look how good that is. I really like that bronzer because it is just really warm and gets everything on. Okay, so nice and warmed up. I'm now going to take that bronzer on a fluffy eyeshadow brush and take it through the sockets of my eyes. Now this whole look is meant to be quite soft and bronzy. So I haven't necessarily primed and done all sorts with my lids because as it wears through the day, it actually looks quite nice if it's a bit worn and soft. Um, I'm going to show you actually what I usually do is I usually take loads of eyeshadow under here. But whatever little habit I've got into, I've not been doing that. I've just been putting liner on the waterline and not on the lash line. I've really changed how I would usually wear things. 
and I just think it's a lot fresher. Don't get me wrong, I still love the way I would usually wear it, but I've quite enjoyed just mixing it up and having a bit of a ply. So there's that bronzer. Let me just unshuffle myself a bit here. Bronzer through the sockets. Now this camera is intense on this new phone and the sun has just come out. So that looks a bit crazy to you, but I'm telling you, it looks fab in the mirror here. But when you've got all these lights on, it's a bit hard to tell. I'll take some pictures in the um, natural light once I'm finished. So that's on. I'm going to take a pixie liner the endless silky eye pen this is black caviar which is like a black brown i talk about these pixie liners a lot they are such a great consistency because they're like a gel in a pencil form so they glide on so easily how nicely did that go on and they're not like scratchy and horrible so if you're someone that's a bit tickly doing your liner you'll love these just going to do the upper line as well. I have to be careful because I wear lenses that I don't smother the lens in the liner. And the nice thing about it being a gel is if you make any mistakes, you can just smush them off. Lovely. Now, I would either put like a shimmery shade on that lid or go for a bit of a brown colour. So for the sake of today, I'm going to go for a bit of a brown colour. Going back in with this book and using the shade Flicker. So ultimately what you want here is a nice, just soft, um, almost like a two pence piece brown. And I'm going to take that all over the lid. Another thing that's nice is just do the ends and the middles and do a bit of a spotlight. But just for argument's sake, showing you exactly what I've been doing recently. And then because you've got your bronzer through that crease, just kind of take it up to the bronzer and smush them in together and there's no real line of what anything begins and ends, see? As I say, that was just a bronzer and a nice brownie eyeshadow, which I imagine you might have at home. So have a little look at what you've already got in the cupboard, if you like the look of this, and just see what you could be using up to make it. So, how lovely, it's just very fresh, isn't it? And not really too much going on, but you're nice and defined. And if you do have blue eyes like me, because they're quite warm colours, they'll make your eyes really pop. But it's actually very flattering on any eye colour because they're such neutral shades. Now I'm just running an Anastasia brow is in taupe through the brows. Don't want to do anything too fussy. If anything, I'm keeping these brows quite soft because I think it really adds to the look. I've obviously drawn a bit of a line there. So I'm going to buff that out to just make it look nice and natural. And another thing I'm going to do today, I sincerely hope this wasn't a waste, but someone said to me that if I upload the video via a desktop, rather than off my phone, which is what I usually do, that I can go over 10 minutes. So I don't want to go majorly over, but sometimes I feel like that extra two or three minutes would make my makeup loads more polished. So I'm going to do that and hope for the best. Now, I'm going in with a bit of superhero mascara. I'm going to go for a nice hearty dose of this to make up for the fact that I've not put any liner on. And actually it's quite nice not having any liner on because you can really see the colour of the eyeshadows, liner on the top lashes I mean, because I would always usually do a little flick or something. Just 
little Nikki makeup tip. It was the simplest tip, but like it's so true. When you're doing your mascara, push these inner lashes in towards your nose, push the middle lashes up and push the outer lashes out towards your ears. That sounds so simple, but I'd just usually be guilty of going up and then that'd be it. But it really does make your lashes look so much fuller and a bit more fanned out. So there we go. This superhero mascara, by the way, is brand new. So you can see that it lives a really, um, lives, leaves a really soft, fluttery finish. But what I find with Superhero Mascara, if you're buying it for like the volume, the lift, all of that, which most people do, give it a week to get a bit clumpy and then it just is an absolute powerhouse. But you do need to give it a week to warm up. Okay, so... Gonna go in with your lips but better liner from it in blushing nude. Let's draw these lips right on. Now this is quite a match for my natural lips. And then I'm gonna use a lighter lip shade to just go a bit 90s on the situation. There we go. Um, I want to show you actually, these are really nice, what I'm pulling all my bits out of. Ruby Hammer has made these little ceramic pots that you put your things in. Um, and they're just designed to be like a nice pop of colour for your makeup. They're really lovely. So I've got all my bits ready over there and I'm going to have them as my, uh, my little IGTV pit stop area. Right, bit of clear gloss going through those brows before I forget. And because I've got the CC illumination on, it is actually very, very luminous. So I'm not gonna add any extra highlight in some of those areas that I would, like round the brows or inner corners or anything. I am, however, gonna take a little bit of Diamante, the Torch Lumiere from Surat. On the back of my hand, I've still got some CC left there. On the back of my hand and then pat it into the skin. Now, Surratt is one of those brands that I kept seeing people using and thinking, is it as good as everyone says? The answer is, it's actually better. Like, it is the loveliest, creamiest, most... Do you know what it is? It looks like you've got lovely skin and makeup, but you don't look like you've got loads of makeup on. It's so nice. Um, it's Kevin O'Quan's assistant that has set this up. And it's the most beautiful collection. So if you've been having a look, I would really recommend it. I'm going to show you some more bits in more videos coming up. This is from Surratt as well. It's the Nude de Soleil Lippy. So. Again, nice kind of bronzy tones. And then... I'm going to put the tiniest bit of blush on. This is the new um, Hourglass Blush Palette. I mean, that's gorgeous, isn't it? I'm just going to take a little sweep of these two kind of warm, bronzy blush kind of colours just to add a bit of definition there without going too overboard might actually pat that in a tiny bit and there we have it nice bronze glowy and not in 10 minutes so i really hope it'll let me upload this and i will look forward to speaking to you soon